travel from Buenos Aires to a venue which hardly requires an introduction. It is, of course, the world-famous Bombanera. And our live game is Morocco against South Africa. I'm Peter Drury, and this is Jim Beglin. I'd delight to have him on board. Thanks for the intro, Peter. I've been soaking up the atmosphere, and I'm really looking forward to what lies in store. Tries a through ball. Clears it out of harm's way. He's done very well to get to that. Keeper has shown great concentration there. I think his anticipation pretty much did the trick for him. Well, that should set them on their way and get into a nice rhythm. The early signs are very encouraging now. Tulani Serrero. He's dealt with that well. El Katori. Let us put a stop to that. The other side yet able to force a breakthrough here. A mixture of good defending and indecisive passing. No progress. Now it's Dira. Looks like a good ball through. This could fall anywhere. That's gone a long way up and away. Tries a long pass towards the front. Gets it back. Alcatori plays it out to the wing. Still, rather frustratingly, it is nil nil. Well played, he saw that coming. Al Katori. And there's the end of the first half. Reflections on the first half. I think it's been a very impressive defensive effort. They've never been broken down and contained the opposition attack extremely well. No goals at this stage, but certainly not devoid of action. It is nil-nil here at half-time. Morocco can feel really happy with themselves. The scoreline doesn't back it up, but they've played with urgency and purpose and can't afford to lose patience in this second half. They've got to persevere. Now the pass. Too much on it, and that's the keepers. Dira. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Well, they are working very hard to get it wide now, Jim. Yeah, that's that's true. And is that how you're seeing it? Yeah, I think they've decided to concentrate on, on working the flanks to help the production line. It's, uh, it's where the room is. Lovely bit of skill. He is not one readily to admit defeat. Don't be surprised if he tries that again. few chances to talk of Jim defenses it seems on top here yes nil nil and little promise of a goal due to the shot shy nature of this contest but I'm not giving up on it there's plenty energy on the pitch not to give up hope just yet Dira gets his foot in there Benatia that's the sort of defending that is going to upset the opposition it already has actually well, he's the quarterback equivalent, so I'm not surprised that he's been closed down first. Morocco may think they're going about this in the right way, but not if a series of passes is leading to no end product. They have to add the incision. 
Tries the route one option. Looks to slip it through. Gets it upfield. Oh, good interception. Kings it out wide. Passes it through. Away from immediate danger. Battles to win it back. And for a moment you felt that was going somewhere, but they'll have to go again. And that is that.